Do you have hypothyroidism? Do you know what is the cause of this? What are the symptoms? How do we treat it and how do we investigate? If not, then stay tuned with me because we are going to discuss that in our today's topic. Namaste, my name is Dr. Tandi Mayur Patel. I am an endocrinologist, hormone specialist doctor from Mumbai, India. Now before I begin this video, one important information. If you want to watch this video in Hindi language, then on the i button and in the description box, there is a link. You can click on that link and this video will be played in Hindi language for you. अगर आप इस वीडियो को हिंदी भाषा में देखना चाहते हैं तो ऊपर आई बटन पे और नीचे डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स में एक लिंक है आप जैसे ही वो लिंक को क्लिक करेंगे इस वीडियो को आप हिंदी भाषा में पाएंगे सो लेट्स बिगिन आवर टूडेज टॉपिक सो फर्स्ट अंडरस्टैंड दैट द थाइरॉयड ग्लैंड इज अ वन ऑफ द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट एंडोक्राइन ग्लैंड दिस थाइरॉयड ग्लैंड इज लोकेटेड इन आवर नेक रीजन एंड दिस स्मॉल बटरफ्लाई शेप ग्लैंड मेनली सिक्रिट्स टू हॉर्मोन T3 hormone and a T4 hormone. When your thyroid hormone doesn't function properly, it creates a lot of imbalances. And these imbalances are plenty many types. And one of such imbalance is a hypothyroidism. Now, what is a hypothyroidism? Hypo means less. It is a condition when your thyroid gland is working less than the requirement. Many a time we also call this as a underactive thyroid gland, and medically we also know this by a name called as Hashimoto's disease. Now let's understand why do you develop a hypothyroidism. See, there are plenty many reasons why you develop a hypothyroidism, but I'm going to discuss the most important and the most common ones. So one of the most common reason is the autoimmune condition, and that is a Hashimoto's disease. Now, what is this autoimmune condition? To understand that clearly, we must understand how our normal immune system functions. See, our immune system is our body's defense mechanism. It is this immune system who is going to protect us from any kind of infection. And this protection happens by a special kind of a weapons and that is the antibodies. Due to some reason, if these antibodies attack on our own body cell, this condition is called as autoimmune health condition. This is actually a problem of an immune system attacking on your own body cells. And when they attack on your thyroid gland, your thyroid gland becomes sluggish, slowly active and that's where the hormone production also gets affected and it gets reduced and that contributes to the hypothyroidism. Now what is a causing this immune system to trigger? See there are plenty many reasons behind it. One such reason is a genetic. So if any of your family member has a thyroid problem, you have a higher chances of developing again thyroid problem. And the second important reason is an environmental factors. It is this environmental factors which work like a trigger and stimulates the immune system and causes the autoimmune health problem. By the way, what are these environment triggers and they are called as a endocrine disruptors. What are the endocrine disruptors and how these endocrine disruptors damages your immune system and hormonal system? I have made a special video for that. You can watch that video so that you will know more about it. So we saw the first common condition is the Hashimoto's disease which is due to autoimmune condition. Second reason of hypothyroidism is the iodine deficiency. Now see iodine is one of the very important micronutrient. We need a right balance of the iodine so that your thyroid gland makes a right amount of T3 and T4 hormone. So if for any reason if you are getting a low iodine again this can cause hypothyroidism. The third condition is if you have been exposed to the radiation. Now see the radiation exposure can happen due to plenty many reasons. One of the most common reason is the x-ray. When you undergo a chest x-ray or any x-ray at that time if the radiation falls on your neck region and on your thyroid gland you have a high chances of developing this health problem. So to prevent that you must always wear a thyroid collar to protect your thyroid gland. Many a time people have a 
cancers of the head region and the neck region for that also they undergo a radiation and if that time if your gland is exposed to the radiation you have a high chances of developing hypothyroidism hypothyroidism also happens when your body undergoes into any kind of a hormonal shift and that mainly happens when your body is undergoing through a puberty stage in a woman when they undergo through pregnancy and after the delivery the lactation period and when they completely stop the menstrual cycle which we call it as a menopause all these transitional zones also you are highly prone for developing hypothyroidism hypothyroidism can also happen if you are taking overdose of hyperthyroid medication now what is that see hyperthyroidism is altogether a different entity and a different disease altogether if for any reason you are taking dosage of the hyperthyroid medications more then all these overdose can give you hypothyroidism to treat hyperthyroidism many people take a radioactive iodine therapy by the way what is this radioactive iodine therapy i have made another video you can watch that video for your better understanding so after you undergo a radioactive iodine therapy again you have a high chances of developing hypothyroidism due to any reason if your thyroid gland is removed by operation by surgery then also you are going to develop a hypothyroidism there are many medications which can cause a hypothyroidism and one such is a lithium containing medicines now the lithium containing medicines are mainly used for the psychiatric and a mental illnesses so if you take this medicine again you can develop a hypothyroidism another drug which is used is a amiodarone by the way amiodarone is a medicine which we use for a heart problem amiodarone is a kind of a anti arrhythmic drug which we use it for the heart condition amiodarone has been associated with the hypothyroidism as well as hyperthyroidism so that can also be the contributing factor another reason for developing hypothyroidism is the problem which exists since birth and this we call it as a congenital hypothyroidism here the baby who is born either they do not have a thyroid gland or if they have thyroid gland but some or the other reason is there which because of which the thyroid gland is not functioning properly this can also contribute to the hypothyroidism so these are the few most common reasons why you can develop a hypothyroidism as i discussed earlier the most common reason still remains and that is a autoimmune hashimotos disease so now we saw what are the causes now again a one another important point to be noted here is that when you have a one kind of autoimmune health problem you tend to have a higher chances of developing other autoimmune health problem because all of they share the same root and same etiology so many people who have a hypothyroidism also have other common associated conditions like a type 1 diabetes now type 1 diabetes is a condition wherein the antibodies has attacked the beta cells of your pancreas and due to which the insulin production gets reduced and you tend to develop a type 1 diabetes second condition is a rheumatoid arthritis wherein you have a joint pains third condition is a celiac disease now celiac disease is actually autoimmune disease of your digestive system wherein your body is not able to digest the gluten properly another common condition is a psoriasis and a eczema many people who have a vitiligo also have a high chances of a hypothyroidism many times people has a condition called as a sle that is a systemic lupus erythematous that is also commonly associated with the hypothyroidism so these are the common associations now let's understand what are the symptoms that you might experience if you develop a hypothyroidism see the symptoms of the hypothyroidism can begin very slowly or it can happen very suddenly now the symptoms of the hypothyroidism sometimes are very very vague and due to which it is not easy for us to pick them up many a times if the hypothyroid is a very very mild in that case the symptoms can also be mild and can be missed out very easily 
So the symptoms which I am going to mention here they are the most common symptoms but of course besides this your body can have a other symptom also. So let's see what are the body symptoms. So we'll begin from our head area. So many people experience hair fall or hair loss, hair thinning. So these are the one of the common symptoms. Besides that people have a forgetfulness and they have a loss of a memory. People experience that their body feels very tired and they are all the time sleepy. No matter how many hours they sleep, they feel, still feel sleepy. Many a times the people experience that they have experienced change in their voice. Sometimes they develop a swelling over the neck and the thyroid region, what we call it as the goiter. Sometimes people experience that the skin is becoming very dry. They will experience that their nails have become very brittle and they break very easily. Sometimes they also experience the breakage of the hair which is very common. People usually have a very fatigued, they feel weak all the time. By the way, why a person develops a fatigue, I have made another video, you can watch that video as well so that you'll understand why the fatigue happens and what all you can do to prevent that. So besides all this, you might experience a lot of weakness, a lot of tiredness. Then in your heart area, you might experience that your heart rate is going down. Many people find that they feel hungry all the time and due to that, they also gain a lot of weight. So weight gain is also a common symptom. No matter how much effort you put, you are not able to lose weight. You are having difficulty in losing weight. That can also be the symptom. In case of a woman, they might experience that their menstrual cycle, the monthly periods is getting disturbed, it's becoming irregular. And if you are a pregnant, you are experiencing higher chances of undergoing a miscarriage and repetitive abortion. Many a times people also find difficulty to conceive and can lead you into infertility. Many people experience that they are not able to pass the motion easily and they have a constipation and sometimes this can contribute to a even piles. So these are the certain body complaints. You might also experience that there is a lot of water retention and that is causing a lot of swelling all over the body and even on your face which leads to the puffiness of the face. People also experience a lot of pain in their joint and all this can lead into a lot of fatigue. So these are the most common symptoms, but as I told you earlier, you might develop another symptom as well. So what if, if you have any such symptom, what to do? Don't worry, first go and visit your thyroid specialist, endocrinologist doctor. Your doctor will take, take your entire detailed medical history and your family history, other associated health problem. Your doctor will examine your thyroid gland to check if there is any swelling or not. And after that, your doctor will ask you to undergo certain blood test. Now, the blood test, what we do is again a case dependent, but the most of the time we use a blood test and that we call it a thyroid function test. These are the blood tests and what we find, find out in this. So, in this blood test, we do the testing of a first hormone that is a TSH that is thyroid stimulating hormone. Second, we do is a T3 and a T4. These two are the thyroid hormones. If your doctor suspects that you have an autoimmune health problem, the doctor might ask you to undergo an antibody testing. Two most commonly done antibodies are first NTTPO that is anti-thyroid peroxidase antibody and the second is an anti-thyroglobulin that is ATG antibody. Besides that, your doctor might also ask you to undergo a sonography or an ultrasound. Again, investigations are case dependent, it can be more or less, but these are the most common investigations. So what if you come to know that you have a hypothyroidism? First of all, do not fear, do not feel low, do not feel depressed. The treatment of the hypothyroidism is very, very simple and that is a one single drug and that is a levothyroxine. This levothyroxine, we also call it as a thyroid hormone replacement therapy. What dose of the levothyroxine will be needed for you? It depends on a plenty many parameters. So do not self-medicate if there is any other family member in your family has a hypothyroid and is taking the medication. Please don't do that. Go and meet your doctor. Your doctor will see your case and will advise you accordingly. 
Levothyroxine uh, dosage can vary anywhere from 12.5 microgram, it can go even up to 200 to 250 microgram also. So what dose will be required basis is based on many other parameters. Levothyroxine medicine is very simply available, very easily available. This is one of the very safe method and a very, very effective method. Taking levothyroxine is a very simple but again the consistency is important and how to take this levothyroxine in correct way is important. How to take this levothyroxine in correct way I have made a, another video you can watch that because if you don't take levothyroxine correctly you won't get a full benefit out of that. So today we discussed about all the common problems associated with the hypothyroidism. If you found out that some good useful information after watching this video, please click on the like button. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe so that you will get more and more health related, especially hormone related information. And then there is a bell icon. If you click there, as and when my new video will be published, you will get an instant notification. And if you have any question pertaining to your thyroid health and whose answer you are seeking for, leave your question in the comment box. I will try to read them as early as I can and answer them also as early as I can. Thank you for joining me till now and we will meet again with some new interesting topic. Till then, take care of yourself and Namaste.